Dungeons and Dragons. I have made it clear that this is one of my favorite games. And this is the series where I tell you about games that I have played and stories from my time playing this game. This is actually from the most recent session that I played. Yeah, this is kind of funny, at least to me. So for context for this game, the story is that the party all had a connection to this man, Cassius de Grey. Cassius was the captain of a ship named the Horizons Call. Cassius, sadly, prior to the start of this adventure, died. And in his will, he left everything to the party. So we now have the ship and the crew, and we went to his personal island that he left stuff on and found more stuff basically that he was going to give us each something personal to each of us to help us go. And if you're wondering, the party consists of our two and a half foot tall halfling cleric, a human naval officer who was hunting down Cassius prior to all of this, a human bard, a yuan Ti druid who dislikes Cassius for events from her past that I'm not 100% sure of, and myself, Umbra, the changeling sorcerer. Now, in this story, those last two are the most important ones. Viper and Umbra are the main figures of this event. After we're on the island where we brutally murdered multiple men, but basically a band of thieves that we killed mostly in one shot. I caused one of their heads to blow off. Thunder, uh, Viper thunderclapped one of them into a wall. Our cleric used inflict wounds and just made one drop after his veins became black. That was horrifying to watch. Yeah, those are the three most impressive deaths, because those are on, like, three full health individuals, too. Anyway, after killing them, getting our stuff, we made our way back to the ship. When we got back to the ship, we were told that we would have a chance to become the crew, effectively, become the leaders of the ship. But to do that, we still had to work like the rest of the crew. So we went down to the oars and helped cast off and push out, which was fun because <laughs> Viper and I failed our strength checks. Nah, crew was not particularly happy with us for that, but not much we can really do there. Anyway, after we cast off, after the sails had been raised, Viper and I went to look for the first mate who was acting as captain and the navigator. We made our way up to the helm and found a gentleman by the name of Salty Pete up there. Now, Pete would not tell us where the people we were looking for were. He, he just straight up refused, so I was going to try and bribe him. I was going to try and make like a tiny bit of food with uh, prestidigitation, but I misread the spell a little bit, and so that plan was out the window. So my next plan was going to be trying minor illusion to bribe him for future. Before I could do any of that, Viper walked up and winked at him. <laughs> And she rolled a 22. So, Pete's reaction, once she winked at him, he turned around, let go of the wheel, and started following her, causing the wheel to start spinning uncontrollably. Now, I reacted as one most likely would in this situation, went, SHIT! and went to grab the wheel to prevent us from tipping. This caused me damage because high speed spinning wheel, but I did manage to slightly prevent the ship from completely tipping over. However, we were just going in a circle at that point. Pete kept following Viper around for a couple minutes before, because of the rocking of this ship out of nowhere, Wraith, the first mate and acting captain at the time, came out the ship and asked what the hell was going on. I calmly explained what has happening, and by calmly, I mean I screamed, Pete left the freaking wheel, help! Wraith told Pete to get back on the wheel. He pushed me out the way and started to correct course, at which point we got attacked by another ship. <laughs> and we fucked that ship up. Like... Hard. And when, when I say we messed that ship up, I'm talking like, I got a shot so good that I just took a chunk out of their mast, and then when we shot again, we hit that same spot, just breaking their sail. This is after we completely wrecked their helm, so they can't move and follow us at all, which is hilarious. And currently, we have gone back to 
get some loot and shit from them because why not? But yeah, that is the story about how in my D&D group, we almost wrecked our ship and TPK'd within the first like three sessions of this game. Anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed this little episode of Tabletop Tales. I know it was a bit of a shorter one. Also, if you've been wondering where I've been for the past like two weeks from whenever my last video was, because I think it was about two weeks ago, I ended up in the hospital for about a day because I somehow caused the muscles in my chest to just rip, causing me to be in a lot of pain. Nothing serious. I just was a bit dehydrated and ripped my muscles somehow. I'm not 100% sure. I'm very fine. I'm going to be back to my regular upload schedule soon. I just need to take a little bit of a break from making videos because it hurt to breathe for about a week. That's just where I've been. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you want to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. But I hope that you guys have a fantastic fucking day. And as always, peace out, guys. Thank you.